Okay, so today I watched a YouTube video um, just about Manjaro and like news about Linux and I discovered that there's an OS called Manjaro Cute Fish um, and it basically looks like Mac OS. So we're going to take a look at it. So if we go here, I can download an ISO image that will only be a few minutes and then we can take a look at this OS supposedly looks like Mac OS now I have a new process which is um, booting up VirtualBox and we're gonna make a Manjaro um, it says Mandriva we want Arch 64 um, we're just gonna call it uh, Manjaro I don't know I'll say that I forgot the name of the desktop environment already we just use two gigs of RAM I will just dynamically allocate the hard drive. You know what? I'll probably give the system. Yeah, let's give it 8 gigs. Um, and now we can start up our OS. Uh, I'm just going to show you how I install it. Um, and then I'll put this on the desktop for now, the ISO. So it will just extract. Alright, so now it's on our desktop. What we do is we're just going to add this CD thing. Um, we'll choose it, start our VM. All right, we're in here. Let's just boot with open source drivers, which is probably the default. We're going to get a demo here. And now we're just getting the Linux OK thing, which is like the EFI mode, I guess. Of course, there's a package manager thing that's holding up the whole process, but we can wait. This is what I call the BSOD, except instead of blue, it's a black screen of death. And we've got this cursor. OK, here we are. It has booted. At least, I think. This is a community edition. Alright, here we are. It had to take a little while. It's being a very slow in this sort of thing. I mean, it's not that bad now. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to just launch settings. You can see it's got a dock at the bottom. Display is at 1024 by 768 I hope... I don't know how much VRAM we have here. Do we have... 19 okay we're going to need a change in the actual display thing probably i don't know probably doesn't matter can we use a 16 by 9 aspect ratio 1920 by 1080 is what we should you know what we'll upscale or whatever that's better so you can see here we've got these weird window buttons oh wow okay this is tilting around stuff I've never seen this in a VM before. I have to fix that one. I'm just going to reset it and try again. We're not going to upscale it this time. Open source drivers we can try. I wonder if there's a thing in settings. We could record with the virtual box thing, but we're using OBS. All right, so take two. Manjaro, hello. We have our installer here. Uh, a dock at the bottom, which is the documentation. And then it says calamares.desktop. I don't know what that is. And we're getting this sort of system freeze. Launch at start. It's the welcome to Manjaro thing. So we're getting these cursor icons, which is a bit weird. It will be all over soon, hopefully. So yeah, like I said, at the bottom, we have a dock here with the fish. I guess that's like the, the finder equivalent. This is very inspired by Mac OS. Um, we've got Firefox, and we've got like the app icons, definitely inspired by macOS Big Sur. Actually, I don't, I don't know what that fish is, because the folder icon's obviously our file explorer. Something that looks like an app store, you know. This is probably a good OS for a tablet, um, if they made Linux tablets. Um, that's like a, yeah, software store. Settings, which is very iOS inspired or Mac OS inspired, a calculator, um, you know, a Manjaro logo, and a trash can, which we will check when this thing is actually installed on the system. Okay, so here we are, um, the Manjaro thing here. Alright, so we got our first preview. I clicked that a bit too much. But yeah, we see Launcher, Firefox, File Explorer, or File Manager, add or remove software this is painfully slow and yeah this vm is painful okay i just think we're way quicker now i bumped up the system a little bit 
and now it's working it's fine i gave the system better specifications so now we can just click through the installer um it's not gonna be sluggish i guess we can yeah we'll just do that um very simple password one two three four install it we're doing it it started an eight one we're nearly done it's just an installer and we're eight percent done already for some reason now i was gonna wait for to actually finish up okay so we're done the nightly build is complete and now we just need to restart and then we'll have a full installation and we continue to get um bugged by virtual for some reason all right here we are we're gonna boot for the final time here into this manjaro linux okay start job running okay 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 hmm all right we're in at least we should be in soon we're in welcome to okay wait we just booted off the optical drive again didn't we all right i'm forcing it to unmount um we'll restart the computer we want the installed version to boot come on here we go it's the actual proper screen we should seeing now dev sda1 please tell me we didn't just brick the vm sometimes they just brick and have to make a new one because they they're dead you know <sighs> i'm gonna need to wait a little bit all right here it is it's just saying thank you for joining the community we will now go into settings again and we'll change the display to a higher setting not too high we'll go in like to that setting yeah because that fills up our screen if we go view can we zoom i don't think we can um whatever it doesn't matter so the first thing i'm going to demo is the launcher looks a bit like mac os um oh my god this is a blatant ripoff look here we've got um the apple music icon x term is what the terminal is so we could do sudo pacman something i don't know i don't use arch um then we've got our control panel thing here uh bluetooth and then here's dark mode it makes everything dark okay this would have been my dream back before I had a Mac. This would have been an amazing OS. But it is something with a menu bar that we can try. That would have file edit. Is the LibreOffice? We could try that. Usually, I just like typing. For some reason, you have to click that to get into that mode. I'm going to open this. Oh, okay. So, one issue is file edit view process. That sort of thing is actually put there. And it's not a global menu bar but you can do it on KDE. So, wait, what desktop environment are we running? This looks very much, there's no battery found. So basically, I think this is a cute fish desktop environment for this. Our kernel version is 5.10.39-1 Manjaro. We're running in x86 underscore 64 and that stuff. We've got eight gigs of storage too, because I made it dynamic. All right, so we've got our dock. We can put it on the left, the right, the bottom. We can alter the size of it. There's like a huge dock that messes with the image quality. I'll keep that at medium. You can't do any magnification, I don't. And then we've got our Firefox here. I would say performance in this is probably not going to be the best. I mean, this is not the most lightweight desktop environment. Um, and as you can see, my settings just crashed. Also, I would definitely change this window theme. It's ugly. At least just make it simple like these, but simple. Um, or like to the XFCE ones. Um, okay, so our cursor is like Mac OS. Okay, so dark mode does that and it gives us this sort of dark theme, I guess, which looks okay. If we, yeah, see the network tab, absolutely we just crash our settings app. Um, so let's just take a look at the file manager. So we can get um, desktop, you know, stock standard. You've got this thing here, you can see that. All right, launcher, of course, you've seen that one. Um, let's see the software store. Is it the same as Manjaro? I don't really know. Um, but yeah, we have a store with VLC, retro, arch, front end for, for emulators. Yeah, this probably is i don't know if you want to download something yeah you check it and then you click apply like on 
Manjaro. Okay. So, calculator. I mean, let's benchmark this calculator. Wait. Oh, my God. It's like it's a calculator or something. Uh, I don't think we can type. Although, I haven't tried that myself. Yeah, no. There's no typing input on my keyboard anyway. So, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, you can't really configure the dock. Um, what other apps do we have here? We've got this firewall over here. I remember our network was going out. It's connecting to this firewall thing. You know, it's like the Windows Defender thing that there is. What about Activity Monitor? Is there that? I think that's an Apple icon. They stole that. User Feedback Console and stuff like that. Well, let's take a look at that. Maybe there's something there. Maybe there isn't. So there's UX Term as well. Or X Term. It just brings you the X -term. Um, but yeah, if, if you want a Mac OS like Sim, definitely choose this one, or maybe just get a real Mac. It's very, um, ugly compared to a Mac, especially with these title bars, it's kind of sad if you actually intend on using it. However, um, or you could use a Hackintosh, you could boot, um, Mac OS on your current computer, um, using something called Sosumi, which is a Mac OS system compiler. Although, there are some prerequisites, and I might make a video on that. Um, so, Sumi, you got to go in the terminal, and it, you need to have snap installed. So, go sudo apt install snapd, and then you go snap install so Sosumi, S-O-S-U-M-I. And then, once that's done, then you can just install it. And, yeah, it's way better than this. But you have to already have a Linux installed. Um... If you're gonna just use Linux out of the box for Sosumi, I like uh, use only Sosumi. I recommend XFCE as your environment, as your desktop environment. Like get Ubuntu and then put. I haven't done it because I use Pop Sumi on top. If you're just gonna use anyway, that was about it for this OS. Oh yeah, and of course the trash can that they ripped off, which brings you to trash slash. slash. So now. It is my job to figure out how to turn this computer off. So, to click there, it comes up with this screen, shut it down, and yeah, it just kills the machine. Very easy. 